Hello and welcome to Asset Validation in Unreal Engine Introduction. I will tell you why you need Asset Validation and how a little amount of work can have a big impact on your project stability. Validators are scripts that detect bugs in your assets. They can be run anytime, but most importantly, they should run before you submit anything into the project. They can catch all those low-hanging fruits that are easy to miss, but sometimes even more complex issues. Think of all those things like naming convention. Maybe your assets should start with specific prefix, textures with T underscore, materials with M underscore, and so on. If that is not correct, you will struggle finding your assets with name search, but also some scripts may work incorrectly. Or if your assets don't have square textures or those textures are not power of two, then your game will probably have a bit lower performance. Same with texture compression. It impacts both performance and the final look of the game. And lastly, maybe you are working on a low poly game and you would like to have a notification if your asset exceeds expected poly count. In that case, it may be done on purpose. You may not want to fail artist's work, but you should at least warn him. Such issues are usually really easy to miss. You work on lots of assets and you will make mistakes. And after a few days, someone may notice it and he will either fix it right away or just create a ticket in Jira, then wait a few more days, ticket goes back to you, you fix it, and then this task goes to Q18 for verification. That's a lot of hassle, and all that could have been prevented with a simple validator. So let me show you how users use validators in Unreal Engine. It really is as simple as it can be. Just select few desired assets, right mouse button on them, go to asset actions, and pick validate assets. Now we have a window with log, but if that window didn't pop up for you for any reason, then just navigate to the main Unreal toolbar, find window and open message log. And now back to our errors. As you can see, we had some validation going on and we have a warning. That warning tells me that this blueprint is not named correctly. The name should start with BP underscore, which is my project naming convention. And this exact validator will be implemented by us together in the next video in the course. Such validator can be used by user, just like we did it, or it can even run on some build system. If you have an observer that runs after each submit, then you can even create almost live logs of stability of your assets. And that's it. I hope this intro was helpful and see you in the next video where we will jump into implementation.